we all have done some cool stuff, but the Beatles are still the litmus test. You know, it's like when you go in the studio, you go, I need, I need a little Beatle guitar thing. You know what that is? There's still a reference point. I need a Ringo Phil. I need, a, you know, when you say that, you don't mean the exact thing. You know where to go in your mind. Oh, okay, yeah, it inspires you to do something of your own. I still use George Harrison and you know all the Paul and George's guitar parts and sounds as an inspiration to me to make I, when I'm hearing guitars and stuff like that. And I got a chance. Hey, Steve. Emmerich too, so I learned some inside stuff. You know, Steve. When they signed on with with iTunes, the Billboard in L.A. just had them the back of them. I don't think anybody had to say, who is that? <laughs> and they didn't even show their faces. But how many drum parts? I mean, you've done some legendary drum parts, but I mean, come on, Jim and, and Liv. I mean, come on. You Steve. Know, how many guys you know that can just hear the drum part and know exactly what song it is? Steve, That's I always say this. I always say this. Oh. I say, Ringo, Ringo didn't pave the road for us drummers. He plowed up the dirt, knocked down the trees before yeah. he paved that road. Yeah. That's what he did. 